All right, good morning. I just have some exciting news. Got a full package of samples from Guadalupe Roastery in Florida. I've already done a review of their Nicaraguan coffee, uh, but we'll take a look and see what they sent me here. So here is Nicaraguan. Brazil. Nicaraguan dark. Oh, and probably the one I'm most excited about, Colombian. So these are all four ounce bags and um, Boy, I'm trying to decide which one to do first. Should I do the Nicaraguan, which I've already done first? No, maybe we'll save that for last. Let's do Brazil. Um, so, as I probably stated in the last video, that I tend not to be a fan of some Brazilian coffee, especially when it's Robusto but I was reassured that this is all Arabica beans. So we're gonna give this a shot and uh, see what we think it tastes like. So let me get that water going. All right, water started. Uh, oh, I should mention, cool Guadalupe Roastery sticker. Uh, thank you note. Hey, you wanna get a coupon? There's a coupon code right there. Scan that puppy, get 20% off. or use the sample to sub promo code. Uh, they also sent uh, a recipe card. Pumpkin spice creamer, appropriate for November right now. 62 degrees here in Maine for November. Beautiful day for us. And they also have a, a QR code for recipes. So scan that puppy too. All right, let's tear this open. I noted that on the full-size bags, those are really difficult to get open, which is a, a good a good sign, in my opinion. Um, oh, that smells nice. Oh, wow, it's uh, oh. light roast, perfect, perfectly roasted, in my opinion. These bags sometimes throw me off a little bit, but uh, one of the first notes I'm getting is rye bread. Mmm. Chocolatey, nutty. Almonds. I just we're gonna we're gonna tear right into it and see what it actually tastes like. That's my first impression of the fragrance. Okay, here we go. Brewed this up. Wow, some caramel coming through here. Nice healthy healthy crema. Yeah, like I said, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of Brazilian coffee, but I'm very excited to taste this. It has a unique unique smell. I like the roasting level very much. So let's pour this puppy up and see what we get here. So we got a little bit of hay going on. I'm gonna let that cool just for a moment. All right. <clears throat> I 
Well, so I always like when coffees don't have all the stereotypical flavors. It, you know, this has some of it. Uh, a little bit of hay flavor, caramel. I don't know that I would say chocolatey, but it's it's it has a, a richness to it. And um, a little bit of woody, a little bit of um, definitely nuts of some sort. There's a almond flavor. There is a, a rye toast flavor. That first notes of rye that I got carries all the way through in a very good way. I love rye bread. Um, definitely Brazilian coffee. Not super fruity. Uh, fruity's sort of some of my favorite, but I would absolutely drink this. This might be a very good coffee for people who like cream and sugar in their coffee. I'm a black coffee drinker, 100%. But this would might go very well for people who uh, like uh, milk and cream and sugar in their coffee. Well balanced, very drinkable. Not a morning coffee for me, but an evening coffee. So boy, I'm, I'm tempted to do four different reviews, but I'm going to try to slam these all into into one review. Although you know, I have no problem drinking two full Fr French press of coffee per day, but um, four French press may be a lot for me. So I might uh, extend this over a couple days, but um, on to the next, which I think is gonna be Nicaragua Dark. Okay, good morning, back again with another coffee review from the sample box from Guadalupe Roastery in Florida. Today we're going to be trying the Nicaraguan Dark. I've already done a review, uh, a full review of the Nicaraguan Lighter Blend, the regular standard. So I'm excited to try this one. Uh, the, the coffee profile I remember that stood out from that one was Toast. Okay, definitely darker. Mmm. A little bit of nougat going on here. No toast notes. A little more candied. A little more smoky campfire. Nuttiness. Smells really great not burnt at all um this is you know i'm picky about dark roast i'm not a big dark roast fan and uh, i usually drink dark roast in the evening um and it has you know a little bit less caffeine in the dark roast all right so i can't wait to uh grind this up looks a little on the on the oil side oily side and, and i say that in a positive way so yeah, I'm excited. Let's check this out. Hey, here we go. Uh, pretty dark crema on this. This crema bloomed very slowly. It wasn't like one of those where you, you hit it with the hot water and it pops open. Mmm, this smells very good. It's desserty. It's very chocolatey. Uh, Fig Newton, dark chocolate, dark, dark chocolate covered Fig Newtons. Is that a thing? Because it should be, and that's what I'm getting from this. There's a little bit of like grape, grape going in here. That could be the fig. Little nougat undertone. Hmm. I don't know. I'm I'm very excited to try this one. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a, a dark roast guy. I mean, I think that the, I already have thoughts. I'm not going to say them until I taste it. But you know, I think sometimes dark roast is used to cover up maybe the not best tasting coffee. But 
but I don't think that's the case here. Certainly there's so much traffic noise today. Oh, totally, totally different aromas after the pour. A little bit of raisin, a little bit of glasses fogging up because it's like 50 degrees outside here in Maine today. And the coffee's hot and steamy. All right, I'm gonna let this rest for a minute, take a minute with it and let you know. So, good coffee. Um, the, the comment I wanted to say before was, you know, Starbucks is notorious for burning, over roasting their beans. And I was gonna say, they should really reach out to Guadalupe and have them roast their dark roast coffee for this, because this is a, this could be a universally loved uh, dark roast. It's not too dark. It's what you expect from a dark roast. It, um, it's good. It, and I think that the roastery knows that, which is why the light roast version of this Nicaraguan is a little on more of like the medium roast, as opposed to going super light for the super florally. Um, this one has more of that uh, strong flavor. So now that it's cooled a little bit and I can taste the spectrum of the flavor, it has a little bit of baking spices in here. Not in here, but you know, that's what I'm tasting. Maybe some cinnamon, maybe a pinch of nutmeg. You know, this is be a great coffee, you know, home for the holidays, everybody's sitting around, having a midday coffee while, you know, the kids open up the remainder of their gifts or, you know, Thanksgiving after Thanksgiving meal coffee. So it's funny, so the Nicaraguan coffees have labeled their other one, the light medium roast, as the breakfast coffee. This is like the midday holiday coffee. If if you're one of those people who puts, you know, like a pumpkin spice flavored creamer into your coffee, God forgive you for that sin, but uh, this would be the perfect coffee to pair it with because it naturally wants to go with some something baked. It's a... Uh, you can almost get a hint of maybe a uh, <clears throat> an apple pie crust. All right, so very good, nice job, Guadalupe. Uh, on to the next two, which is going to be the one I talked just just speaking about, which is the, the one I've tried before from them, which is their. They might call it a light roast, I call it a light medium roast of the Nicaraguan. I'm thinking of maybe, because I've already reviewed it, we're going to try it another way. So I'll use one of my other methods other than the French press to give that a try. So that should be interesting. And then the one that I'm kind of holding off for last because I have high hopes, and that is the Colombian. So stay tuned, we're going to jam all these into the same episode, and um, cheers. Third sample. Uh, this is the regular Nic Nicaraguan, not the dark roasted. Uh, I have done a full coffee review of that, which I'll link in the description or at the, at the end, in the bottom, somewhere. So I'll keep this relatively brief because I've already done it, but let's see if I have a different impression. Milk chocolate. Good. It's a medium roast a light medium roast and as i noted with the with the uh the dark roast i think slightly on the darker side is the way to go with these nicaraguan beans because i did a french press review before i'm going to use the uh the clever it's sort of a pour over hybrid immersion um coffee brewing method it's hard for me because i I'm so used to using French press that I have to like think extra hard to extra grind the beans. So we'll set that up and give it a shot. Okay, we have drained that water to sort of get the, um, the filter flavor out of here. Put a little bit of water in. And now we're gonna put in 
slightly more than three tablespoons of the finely ground coffee. Give it the pour over treatment. Gonna get, uh, so you can see the crumb is starting to come up a little bit. We're gonna get just a little bit more water. Okay, we let it do its brewing magic for about four minutes. So this is the immersion part. We got, you just saw some of the pour over part. Now there's a, a plunger in the bottom here. And put this over the top and boom, there it goes. So I can already tell I roasted this, I mean, I brewed this slightly lighter than what I usually do, but that's okay. It's all right, we're still gonna get a good flavor from this, I'm expecting. There we go. Oh, not as light as I was concerned about. Let's give this a taste. It smells good. Still get a little bit of that golden toast flavor. Um, hmm. A little more fruity than last time. Well balanced, not very acidic. That dry taste. There's a sweetness to this that I don't remember from my last review of this coffee and something that I think of when I think of this particular coffee and this roast is clean something I should have probably said in the previous year it's a very clean tasting coffee so I'm gonna continue to drink this and recommend this and I've saved what I hope is the best for last, which is the Colombian that I'm super looking forward to. One of my favorite coffee regions, one of the most popular coffee regions. So stay tuned for the rest of this video. We're gonna address the Colombian. This has been the Nicaraguan light medium roast. It's good. Uh, you know, one other thing I'll say is they, when you go on to the Guadalupe Roastery website, they had, there's like a, not a, extensive but uh find the best uh roast that matches or best coffee that matches what you like and you know i'm sure i put in light roast whole bean maybe fruity i don't remember if that was an option but so that this nicaraguan was the one that they paired me with so maybe this will be the ideal guadalupe roastery uh coffee maybe it will be the colombian we're gonna find out here we are the final Sample, Colombian. Give this a shot. Afternoon, already had some other coffee this morning, so that won't affect. All right. Hmm. So I like Colombian. I think that it's, um, it's what Americans think of as very good coffee. It has a, a universal flavor profile. All right, very nutty. Um, it's a has it looks a little oily, which I think is interesting. Almost like a pecans, pecans. A little bit of a little bit of fruit note, not too much. Uh, maybe some baking spices. And I would say it's a it's a light to medium roast. It it verges on more of a medium roast. 
So again, uh, rather a, a, a dark crema, but I mean, it's still active. It's still coming to life here. It smells like Colombian from here. Mmm, really it smells lovely. Um, all right, let's I'll let this uh, brew for just a minute here. Still pretty, pretty hot. Wow, <clears throat> very well balanced. Slight acidity. Smooth coffee, I can say. All of the Guadalupe roastery coffees are, are very consistent. You can just tell they come from the same sort of uh, coffee house. So this is, uh, it's very well balanced coffee. It's smooth. The thing I, I know first off is kind of a cocoa, chocolate, baking spices. In the beans themselves, even ground, I didn't get any of that cherry that you might expect from a Colombian coffee. A little bit of that fruitiness and like a dark cherry comes through once it's brewed. Um, I didn't want to jinx myself, but I was anticipating that this would be my favorite of the four. And it's, it's pretty close. So this is a medium roast. Colombian. I tend to like light roast Colombian, but I could drink, this is a very satisfying everybody coffee. All right, so I am going to put it as the top place winner. So number one, Colombian. Uh, as expected, Although switch, uh, I'm going to say the dark roast Nicaraguan is number two, and the regular Nicaraguan is number three. I don't know why I didn't do this as a countdown. And fourth place is Brazil. So I highly recommend Guadalupe Roastery. Thank you for sending the samples to really get a whole spectrum of what, what you're offering. Pause the video, get this coupon code for 20% off. I'm gonna be drinking this. And all this for the rest of the day. Um, I am on a subscription with Guadalupe. I'm currently getting the regular Nicaraguan. I think I'm gonna to switch to the Colombian or to the dark roast Nicaraguan. Cause I get a lot of coffees. Most of those are not dark roast. My one quote for them is Starbucks should hire Guadalupe Roastery to tell them how to do dark roast correctly. This Nicaraguan is very good. It's the one I'm familiar with for them. This is the correct level that this particular bean should be roasted at. So that's why that's number two for me. Uh, leave any comments below. If you have a coffee like me to review, feel free to send it my way. Cheers. Nice. Smooth. Colombian, so smooth.